good guys welcome back to tech smart and this is a super crazy and special video kind of like all videos and the reason is for one of them we got ben so ben's on the camera right now what's up guys and right now he's actually going to be the overhead camera to give you guys more details this is a special video because this is a 121 dollars fake iphone 10s max how bad is it? The series you guys all know and love. Last year I made a $125 fake iPhone 10. How bad is it? If you missed that, it's right up there in the iCard or link down below if you wanna check it out and get all caught up to speed. But in front of me, we have a real iPhone XS Max in gold that just came out. We're in Australia, we picked that up. Definitely check out that playlist right up there if you guys wanna see more content on that. And then a fake iPhone XS Max that I picked up online for $121. So let's get down to it and see what the key differences are. You guys know what the series is about. So sit back, relax, we're gonna have some fun. So this particular fake iPhone 10 has a few similar specs and different specs, and we'll just get started. So on the box, definitely make sure to check out the back. This is always gonna be a key difference that you need to look for. The stickers are out of line, or if things don't seem to be even. So iPhone 10 plus, there's no plus, it should be called the Max. The image on the box is also something to note. On the real 10S Max, it's kind of got this new earthy, trippy kind of color look. It's more purple, it's more yellow. But checking out the fake one, because this is the one that you guys really want to see and the one that I'm super excited to check out. See how good it really is. You know, every year they do get better. So opening this up, we have some info, kind of like normal. What do we get inside? Just a faded tips guide, then a SIM card tool, then the fake iPhone 10s Max, and I actually got it in white. Not even the gold one, but the gold one is available if you guys wanna check that out. You know where the link is. So let's see what accessories we get. We get some ear pods in a tin. Whoa, thought it had a headphone jack. It actually has a lightning connector, so. Kind of interesting, the fakes are getting better, and then a super sketchy. Doesn't look very trustworthy or good. So now to check out the real iPhone XS Max. The one in gold, the one thing to really pay attention to is the front image. Make sure it's kind of this globe. You won't be able to see the notch on the screen. That's what Apple's trying to hide. It still exists, just you won't see it on the front box. So when you look at the back of it, you're gonna see everything pretty much makes sense. iPhone XS Max ear pods with lightning connector, and then obviously 10S Max gold, and then the gigabyte capacity. All the stickers look to be in line, pretty much proper. This is the real phone. So let's open it up. We got designed by Apple in California. So you get a hello guide. This actually should pull out and you should be getting three separate tabs. So good to note. Then we got a SIM card tool. Love when they include these. And then the Apple stickers. Always good to know when these come in. Although I think I have just way too many. So this is what I've been really excited for. The iPhone 10 s max so this is it in gold we'll check this out we'll compare it to the fake one see what's up so here's what else we get in the box basically i'm in australia right now if you're in the u.s you're gonna get one that looks a little different then we have this new style of ear pods it kind of wraps around it's not that plastic thing like before so keep that in mind and then a cable at the bottom now is kind of the fun part let's turn on both of these phones at once and see if they look alike. So actually vote up in the iCard real quick which phone you guys think is real and which phone you guys think is fake, number one or number two. And let me know in the comments if you guys guess right. This is what both phones look like. And honestly, they both kind of feel pretty similar. I thought when I first picked up the fake phone, and it of course is the white one. So if you guys got a sneak peek at that, you did guess right, fake, and the gold one is the real one. Now there are three colors to keep in mind. You have the silver, the space gray, and then the new gold one this year. So that's just for the 10s and 10s Max. And they basically feel the same. They look the same on the back. There's no new markings or anything in particular saying it's a 10s or XS. Both say iPhone on the back, so that's one thing you're gonna definitely have to be careful of. Cameras look pretty much the same, nothing new to note. On the sides here, volume buttons, mute switch. Test out the buttons, if they feel clicky, that's a good sign. Both feel pretty clicky, so not that easy to distinguish. Both kind of weigh the same, which I'm really shocked with. Last year's iPhone 10 in the $125 fake iPhone 10 video, it was really light and cheap and you could kind of tell, but this year it basically feels the exact same in weight. So let's turn these things on and see what looks different. So the fake phone should be running Android 7, 
kind of powers on with an interesting boot screen. There shouldn't be a bezel on any fake phone. It should just be all screen. That's kind of what you're paying for. Both of these have a 6.5 inch screen or so they say. The real one obviously does. The fake one has this kind of interesting black border that goes around it. So weird that there's kind of this shadow on the corners of the screen. Guess that's what you get. Fake one is finally booted up. It says open Wi-Fi networks available, iOS system. So swipe up to unlock. It's kind of laggy and slow. Keep that in mind when you are checking this out before you hand them your money or you go ahead and leave the deal. Obviously on the real one, absolutely butter when you go ahead and swipe up. So we can just go right into, I guess, taking a selfie. We'll see how good these cameras are. So on the real one first, And then on the fake one, not bad. Not bad at all. We actually tried to charge up the fake iPhone XS Max and to kind of our surprise, it started to charge and now it's no longer charging. So the final battery on this phone is at 20%. So we basically got to rush through this video, no joke. Here we go, let's fully get into this because it's actually pretty interesting between the real XS Max and the fake one and the differences. So at the bottom, you can immediately tell there is an antenna on the real one compared to the fake one where there is nothing. And then when you go to maps, this is crazy. What is this? You wanna go to maps here, it's just regular Apple Maps. If you just click the Maps app, it should take you to regular maps and not something, uh, I think that's in Mandarin. I don't know, let me know in the comments if you guys know better. Obviously another thing is the App Store. Sometimes it's cloned really well, other times it just sucks and it's the Play Store. I gotta give it to it, the App Store doesn't look that bad. What do you guys think? Just kidding, we got a Facebook pop-up. I think, uh, think we know what the answer is there, am I right? Let's uh, exit out of it. So let's check out Find My Friends and see what this looks like. Powered by a map. Com. So that seems to be the GPS and map provider on the fake phone compared to the real one, which uses iCloud. So you can obviously sign in there. Just swiping up does not feel natural at all. So we're at for battery percent, 14%. We're just fully going here. Gassing it completely from 100 down to zero and empty. This phone probably will never charge again. So let's enjoy it while it lasts. So normally I would try to watch a YouTube video on a fake phone compared to a real phone, see how the screen is, camera looks pretty good, but I'm just gonna see if the YouTube app works on here. This app isn't compatible with your phone. Uh, I can't even watch a YouTube video, so I'm just gonna do that on the 10s max and see how good it looks because why not right let's see what the tech smart giveaway video looks like i'm giving away four iphone 10s maxes in gold so if you guys want to check that out for three million subscribers thank you so much by the way we're almost there definitely do that link down below or up in the icard crazy stuff here we go will youtube even load this phone's getting so hot. Don't even know what browser this thing's running. It's lagging ridiculously hard. I got both giveaway videos queued up right here. No ad on the fake one? Mm. I don't like that. I can't full screen it. It's that fake of a phone. Doesn't look all that bad. On the real one, obviously it looks much more crisp. 6.5 inch OLED to screen. That's amazing on the 10s. I don't think you can look at colors fully. Just try to see if you can get the YouTube app. Basically, I think you guys can fully tell what makes the phone real and what makes it fake. It's lagging a whole lot here, and that's kind of what makes it a fake phone. And you can't even charge it. So as long as you can charge it and download YouTube and the camera doesn't look that crappy, I think you're in good shape. So this is something kind of interesting to note, and actually bring your laptop to the Craigslist or wherever you're doing this deal. Basically plug the phone into a computer because this is gonna be a dead giveaway if it's a fake phone or if it's not. So when I plug it in, you guys can see it says, do you want to trust this computer? It says trust or mistrust. It actually should say trust or don't trust. And that would be shown on the real 10s Max if you were to plug it into a computer. So while the regular Fortnite is downloading on the real iPhone 10s Max, I actually found a Fortnite Battle 3D in whatever app store this is. I don't even think it's the Google Play Store. It's some own version and I had to plug it in again. This phone is starting to die. So graphics don't look, yep, they look actually pretty bad. It says Fortnite Battle Royale and has a pretty high res icon at the bottom. What? 
It looks like a bootleg version. It looks really good. It looks like low-res graphics to make you not believe that it has high-res graphics. So it looks like there's a fake Fortnite game. There's no way to really cancel out of that. So if Fortnite doesn't really exist and take a long time to download, kind of like you see here, it's two gigabytes. That's definitely a good sign that your phone is probably fake. As sad as that is, it's true. It's a fun game. You might see me on there, I'm just tech smart. But man, does this game take forever to download? I guess that's a good thing. So Fortnite finally loaded up. We're gonna hit play. Fortnite just looks too good on the iPhone XS Max. Time to see uh, if we can get some kills. We're getting ready to drop. We're gonna go where everyone else is going. See if we can get a kill. Definitely looks like it's pretty good quality. I would say it probably looks as good as pretty much any other display with good graphics. No way! No way! I got a kill with my pickaxe, Ben! Whoa! No! Well, I got a kill with my pickaxe! So as you guys can see, I got one kill on Fortnite on the 10s Max. I had a lot of fun. Graphics look really good. I definitely think graphics on the new 10s and 10s Max are going to look amazing with the new A12 Bionic chip. That's definitely new this year for the iPhones. So between the real versus the fake, Outside of this one needing to be plugged into a computer because it's still pretty hot and it looks really ridiculously fake. You're gonna be able to tell just by plugging this thing in, looking at the settings and honestly messing around with it for about five minutes which phone is fake and which one is real. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys are new, make sure you get subscribed by clicking that button right down there. And check out two other videos right over here of a drop test and water test on the brand new 10s and 10s Max. It's crazy. You guys are definitely gonna be surprised. That's gonna do it, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thanks for watching.